Hubert Davis in his third season as head coach of the Heels. John Shire in his second as head coach of the Blue Devils. And it's visiting Carolina with the first possession of the game. Duke already switching some exchanges. Now Jared McCain switched off onto Harrison Ingram. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one in the post. Ingram had a huge game against Duke back in Chapel Hill. 21 points, 13 rebounds. He got in foul trouble against NC State. Had to sit the majority of the first half. Only played four minutes. That can't happen in this game. That's why Sean Stewart got all those minutes, and he ended up playing extremely well. Baycott with the left hand. Carolina up four early. Carolina trying to chase over the top of those handoff actions. Filipowski, the spin, and the fadeaway will go. And here's Filipowski with that footwork, able to pivot, and that's a difficult shot. Roach to Filipowski, around and out, and the rebound down to Ingram, who's the leading rebounder for the ACC in conference games. Cormac Ryan with the quick release and buries the corner three. That's where North Carolina can be so difficult to deal with in transition with a catch and shoot. Strong drive by Jared McCain, but he couldn't finish it. Back comes R.J. Davis. Touch pass to Ryan. Same spot, same result. 10-2 Carolina. This is nothing new for him. But Carolina really getting out on the perimeter to impact the ball. And the friendly roll for Mark Mitchell. Second field goal of the night for Duke. Good D by Proctor to stay in front of him. 10 to shoot. Ingram trying to back him down. Banks at home. Tough shot. Ryan in transition. No call. And then a steal by Cadeau. What a play by Cadeau. And Cormac Ryan knocks down his third three of the game. North Carolina has come out with its hair on fire. That's quite a hairdo that Elliot Cadeau has, but not only. Cadeau using the ball screen from Baycott, the drive, the scoop, and the finish. Well, you heard Jess Sims at the start of the game say value offensive possessions, and Duke has not gotten the shot they want early on. You credit North Carolina's defense. It has been spectacular. Proctor with a strong drive and a finish. And this year, you're concerned about their defense. They are ranked sixth in the nation in defensive efficiency per Ken Palm. One thing they can always do, as you know well, Jay, is Cormac Ryan has returned for Carolina. Again, he's got three threes already. Nice feed oh. from R.J. Davis, and Washington slams at home. Armando Baycott given really solid minutes and the excellent penetration by R.J. Davis gets in the lane draws Ryan and when you get resistance you have to meet it with as much strength as it, they give it. Cadeau's pass is stolen and Proctor gets them all riled up here at Cameron with the steal and the dunk. Hubert Davis summoned Harrison Ingram to check in. Baycott's coming in as well. Trimble from the free throw line gets the bounce. That's where he operates. Filipowski has it knocked away, gets it back. Now McCain, who's been so good for Duke, knocks down a long two. T.J. Power, 13 of his 14 field goals on the season are threes, but you can drive him. Ingram drove Mitchell, got it back, and hit it. The first game they played against Arizona here in the building, Umar Ballo didn't even go off to go near him, and he has really improved. Cadeau with a drive. Look at the quickness that this kid has. Carolina leads by 15. Past the midway point of the first half, R.J. Davis getting set to check back in. Hasn't scored in this game, and the Heels have a 15-point lead. Roach driving into a trio of defenders. Offensive rebound, McCain. Proctor for three. Tipped up and in by Filipowski. He didn't understand the music the players were listening to <laughs> before the game. He said, I can't even make out any of the words. Yeah, and then I said, what would you play if it were your choice? He goes, not this. That's right. <laughs> R.J. Davis knocks it down. Baycock kicks it back out to Davis. Still lots of time. Lost it. Proctor ahead of the pack to lay it in. Difficult to score in this game, but they've gotten a couple buckets with Tyrese Proctor taking it the other way. He had a steal off a of bat. That's two buckets that Tyrese Proctor has off of Carolina turnovers. One off the rip steal, and then Davis mishandles it. Trimble turns the corner, and he lays it in.
But Cormac Ryan doing a good job locking and trailing on Jared McCain. McCain gets just wow. a little bit of space and buries the three. Went out to the left, then came out back to the right. And boy, did he set his feet in a hurry. Good defense, better offense. Nine for McCain. Soft touch in the mid-range game for R.J. Davis. A lot of guys on both teams, they don't shy away from the physical play. They'll stick their noses in there. Wide open, Proctor. Boy, Hubert Davis can't be happy with that. That was too easy. Trimble passed up the three, steps in for the two, and hits it. Wow, a T passed up an open three for a difficult two. Filipowski gives it to Roach. Right now, Duke looks like they're cutting at three-quarter speed. Roach with a nice drive, gets the lead down to seven for the heels. This comeback. Proctor beyond the arc, Baycott on him. He'll pull for three. And Ingram the rebound and lots of time for Carolina to get a look. Ingram a tough one in the corner. Withers up and in. Boy, if that's not emblematic of the first half. Duke and an offensive rebound and put back for Jalen Withers. Tough shot, Fallon. Ryan not shy at all misses the three and Mitchell down with a rebound for the Blue Devils Davis was the first cutter Ryan the second Roach Ryan good defense, but Filipowski comes up with the loose ball and lays it in Baycott good deflection and steal by Filipowski has had his hand in the passing lane for that little pocket pass Winds up with Ingram on him the turnaround goes I can still improve. I've got to be coached. As we welcome you back to this ESPN Sonic Blockbuster, Carolina leading Duke by six. Filipowski, what a start to the second half for him. Good D by Mitchell, didn't let Cormac Ryan turn the corner. Davis trying to shake Proctor, takes a bump and finishes. To Armando Baycott. Got a. Couple between the legs, but that left to right crossover just gave him the spell well, even though he missed it I, I still think Carolina needs to go and play through Baycott McCain to an open roach Count it! And it's a one-point game Funny how different the games can be Baycott had 25 points 10 rebounds and five assists in the first game back in Chapel Hill He's got two points and four rebounds tonight now he has just doubled his point total, and he's going to the line as well. Block, but he just went one-on-one -on -one in the post. Duke decided not to double, and he just gives a little drop step, got the contact, and still finished that. And that very play that they ran, we showed it on college game day as something Duke was going to have to deal with. What a block. Withers got all of that. Here comes Trimble. Challenging Filipowski, and the follow good for Withers. The fourth foul on Filipowski, but he takes himself out of rebounding, and Withers took advantage of it. That's two stickbacks in this game for Jalen Withers. And a, a block for Baycott, and a great look ahead for Ryan. He will lay it in. Filipowski driving on Baycott. Got him to bite on the fake and lays it in. That was beautiful. Filipowski getting to his right hand here with the inside pivot and this shot fake and then pivot just left Withers down with a rebound Boy, Withers has challenged at the rim on numerous occasions. He's been so active Carolina getting good minutes out of their bench players tonight as Baycott lays it home But back to wait for a sec that is an enormous win for Steve Forbes and the Deeks They had lost their last three. They put themselves in real jeopardy Joe Lenardi has them next four out, I believe, at the moment. That was almost a must-have for them beating the Tigers tonight. The scoring leader in this game. What a play by Cadeau. And another example of a Tar Heel getting to the floor first. But it winds up in a loose ball and a Tyrese Proctor three off a broken play. Just not enough pressure on Harrison Ingram. And again, Stewart on Baycott. John Shire told me this morning we just want him to be a pest. It also can help keep Filipowski out of foul trouble. First few minutes, they've taken threes away from Cormac Ryan as well. McCain just keeps on going and lays it in with the left hand. He's now got four, and he's gone to the bench. So Ryan Young has come back in, and Young is on Baycott. John Shire obviously deliberately trying to keep Filipowski away from Baycott right now.
Wow. Mac Ryan for three. Mondo Baycott one on one in the post against Ryan Young. And Jared McCain caught a little bit in no man's land. You just have to stick with Cormac Ryan. You just can't allow him catch and shoot. Davis. Finally a little space, and he knocks down the runner. He has such a good middle game. On the game, they shot 51% of the win over Duke. Feb 6 back in Chapel Hill. That is a much-needed basket for the Blue Devils. Jared McCain with a three. R.J. Davis held in check tonight. Four for nine, nine points for the ACC's leading scorer. They're making him give up the ball. Ingram. And it counts to get back to him and just able to go through his legs, get into the middle and spin off. And just cannot keep the man down. Well, and he's so good at going after a mismatch. And that may be because of the NBA background of Hubert Davis spent so many years in the NBA playing for the Knicks and the Mavericks. You know, I got my nails done with him yesterday. I, I saw that. Very uncomfortable. He's a, unapologetically himself. I've been apologizing for that ever since. <laughs> I mean, to get 11 and a half rebounds a game and three offensive rebounds, playing with Armando Baycott, who gobbles up rebounds like crazy. Filipowski. Ingram, the drive. Over Filipowski, he knocks it down. Boy, what a shot by Harrison Ingram. Going at Kyle Filipowski. Put him in a position to get a foul or maybe to back off just a little bit, but he put great pressure. Here comes Ryan, gets it off, and hits another one. Cormac Ryan with his fifth three-pointer of the night. Duke thought that Ryan was going to set a back screen, and instead it was a pin down, a counter. Wow. Filipowski with the response. Guarded by McCain. Help from Filipowski. Good pass. Trimble, another good pass. And Filipowski with not one, but two rejections at the rim. Got to keep an eye on him beyond the perimeter. Got the switch. Filipowski on Davis. Davis goes by him. Filipowski got a piece of it from behind. And a little horn set. And now they clear a side. Ryan. Wow. It is his night. Six made threes for Cormac Ryan. Hey, look how quickly Cormac Ryan gets this off. Jeremy Roach couldn't even get a hand up. It was so quick. Roach drives and kicks. Power in the corner. And he hits it. Davis just throws it up. Baycott gets it back to Cadeau. Oh! It goes! Are you kidding with the shot clock winding down? Did he get it off in time? It looked like he did. Did he get it off in time? It looked to me in live action like he did, but it was close. He, he did. did. Yep. Well, Proctor was barely back in bounds in time. He's trying to go coast to coast, and he will succeed. Still a six-point game. 35 seconds to go. McCain. There's Power. Ingram the closeout. Power the drive, and he lays it in, and it's down to four. Now Duke's got to think about a three here. 15 seconds, that's it. Proctor. Kept alive by Filipowski. Roach. And that goes in. And it makes it a one possession game. And Duke able to get that rebound. And get a three. From Jeremy Roach. Just knocked back out. And... R.J. Davis didn't even really put pressure on it. Tyler Zeller this morning talked about nothing better than a quiet Cameron Indoor Stadium. And it's pretty quiet right now as this one comes to an end. Carolina sweeps the regular season series from Duke.